was introduced to the TryHackMe platform by a friend and I decided to give it uh, a go. Uh, the pursuit of finding solution and uh, mastering uh, a new concept was that was um, familiar to me before. Uh, I like that. The experience of doing exercises and uh, learning hacking concept for the first time actually felt like a fun uh, video game. But there is another side of it too. I met people who had fallen victims to cyber attacks. I witnessed how an organization that fallen victim to attack can uh, result in the firing of uh, employees or the demise of companies shortly after the attack has occurred. I became aware of the importance of working with cybersecurity. There are both entertaining and captivating aspects of cybersecurity, but also serious and essential areas that one must take care of. I think that's why I made the decision to pursue cyber security. CCT encompasses a wide range of content that covers multiple domains in the cyber security field. I was introduced to the new concepts information that were unfamiliar to me before. Here's an example I can give you. I gain knowledge of how to protect physical infrastructure at a very fine-tuned level, which included um, selecting and installing uh, fire extinguisher systems for a substantial office building. And the level of detail on that, that really indicates the high quality of the content of the CCT. I have also become familiar with disaster recovery and disaster recovery plans, encryption, various policies and standards. I actually became proficient at rail setups, which I was very bad at before. But to summarize it, CCT didn't leave, leave anything out. Although there is a lot of content, each part is essential to be successful in the cybersecurity industry. You move from one level to the next with CCT. It's actually uncertain if I would stay in the cybersecurity business without it. It's of utmost importance. If you lack knowledge in uh, one of these domains that uh, CCT covers, you will uh, lack fundamental knowledge. It's irrelevant if you exceed in other fields, if you lack knowledge about uh, proper uh, data backup strategies, for instance. Fundamental knowledge of the most important domains in cybersecurity is necessary for a cybersecurity worker to be hired by any business. You won't get a job if you lack knowledge of one of those domains. To start your cybersecurity career by taking the CCT exam is in other words the best decision you can make in your early career. Although it takes a lot of work, the payoff uh, is worth it. Your knowledge will be reliable and you will feel confident in your ability con to contribute competently. Well, uh, CCT included uh, many labs. At first, I felt a little apprehensive due to having to learn both theoretical mater material from the course and, and then study for every lab. Taking notes from every lab was my approach to the exam preparation. I still use those notes occasionally in my work life that is not related to CCT and I find that kind of funny. Uh, so you have use of those labs even after um, the exam. The labs were a lot of fun and covered new topics that I have never explored before. In retrospect, I believe that the number of labs were very appropriate. Being a cybersecurity specialist requires you to perform practical work 
these labs are carefully selected to give you a foundational practical knowledge of each domain. CCT's combination of theory and practice is effective, it's not merely a lecture. I am fond of the forensic lab kit, there was like three or four labs on forensic. Uh, because theoretical knowledge is not worth much, especially in an uh, area like forensic without practical skills. Uh, I was actually well accustomed to CTF challenges uh, before from uh, the TriHackBree platform and I am uh, fond of that format. The labs at the TTT are well built and aim to teach the material with practical knowledge while also having a bit of fun. Uh, the labs will provide you with knowledge that you can use in your notes for the rest of your career and they are really good constructed so you retain the knowledge. Uh, I can also mention that many recruiters and organizations they prefer the CompTIA Security Plus certification. But um, Security Plus have a significantly inferior quality of content if you compare it to CCT. And I think sharing that fact is the way to go. Because um, those are t there are a lot of people who say that you should take uh, the CompTIA Security Plus because organization want it and they know about it. But I think that is, those who say that are a part of the problem because those who have taken both CCT and Security Plus, Plus will always say that CCT is better and will, and will bring more competence to organization. Uh, so that is my thoughts on uh, different certifications. I, I found the mix of practical and theoretical questions uh, to be enjoyable actually. Uh, Eric Reed, the amazing teacher of CCT, he has a unique teaching style and his study advices were my favorite thing. I'm not convinced that I would have passed the exam without, uh, without him. You, you learn for life. I mean, he gave study advice that I still use today. And he learned the, the, the massive amount of content in CTT. And, but he also learned how to study for it. Because, like I mentioned, uh, uh, in a previous que uh, question you asked, uh, you can't like uh, study for CCT uh, for three weeks and then expect to pass it. You must study it for a long time if you go if you're gonna be able to retain all knowledge, and that requires a method. And uh, Eric Reed was very good to uh, teach and give advices that. Uh, that made me and many others to pass both CCT and uh, other exams. Passing the exam resulted in me receiving a whole new level of respect in the cybersecurity industry. And I noticed that uh, both, on LinkedIn, both on LinkedIn but also on similar platforms. It's my belief that organizations and recruiters have begun to comprehend the work of a CCT certification. Uh, personally, personally, I'm in the start of like thinking of uh, of things related to building my own business, and there I had a lot of value of CTT, of how to plan security, uh, and uh, uh, and all those factors that you need to consider. But but I definitely noticed the the difference in uh, in respect you received, and with respect I mean like. Uh, People were really interested in your opinions regarding security because they know you have a, a foundation of very fundamental skill, but also very specialized skills, and it makes people listen to you. And with that, there also comes a responsibility. You need to think. You need to realize that you represent, in some sense. Uh, Easy Council and all, all and all the other people who have um, passed the exam, and um, that also is a brings a responsibility to uh, uh, to continue educating, to learn more because you're never done with the knowledge in cybersecurity, as we all know. Uh, but uh, yeah, definitely, you people will notice if you uh, pass the exam. And the more the time goes, the, 
the more organization or an organizational leaders will see how good of a merit a CTT certification actually is.